Hello and welcome to Creative Design and Supply. And some of you have received a new cutter um, for Christmas. And some of you have asked, how do I add fonts? So what program that you are designing from, or I'm sorry, from what computer you are using, um, those fonts will already be available. But if you're wanting to add new fonts, I'm just showing you this on the font here. I want to show you that it will tell you if it's free for personal use, 100% free. So just keep in mind in that and do some research um, so you know which ones you're able to use and which ones you're not. Um, if you're creating designs or selling or anything like that. So I'm going to go in. And the reason why we are not on Silhouette yet is because you have to um, download these when you are not using Silhouette, because if you are still using Silhouette, you have it open and you come in here, you're going to have to close whatever you have. And then you will have to close it again or open it back and then it will um, be able to, to uh, install those fonts. All right. So we're not using um, Silhouette just yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and um, Let's see, there's Fruit Star. Here's a cute little one right here. Um, I'm going to use this one right here. I'm going to go to download. And after it is downloaded, it will pop up. All right. And I put this in my downloads. All right. And you want to extract all. Make sure wherever you're going. Um, if I'm downloading something, I'm going to download and just downloads, that way I can extract it. All right. And then right here, um, after I find the file in my downloads, I'm gonna go to extract all. And then it will extract, there's your fonts. Now this is when you know that you're going to be able to install it. So you, um, after you extract all, you're going to come up here and you're going to press install. And then you got to give it a minute and then it will tell you that it's installed after that. And then you can just X off. Okay. All right. And now I am just going to open Silhouette. Okay. Now, the new version on here, I don't like to download it just yet unless it gives me trouble. So this is the changes for Cameo 5, which I am not using a Cameo 5, so I can put later. And if you've watched any of our videos, I'm using Business Edition. Um, you get the most out of Business Edition, the nesting features, and you can save it as a PNG, an SVG, um, several different things. So let me go ahead and I'm going to change this up. You want to go to your page setup. Um, I am going to use a machine. Cutting mat. And then I'm just going to do a 12 by 12. That way. So you can either come over here and get to it, or you can come over here. Now, um, my screen may not be exactly like yours because it is the business edition. Come over here. And if you don't know what something is, then you can hover over it. And it'll give you a little idea. So right here is your open text font styles. All right. And so up here, I'm just going to, there it is, Motley Force, okay? And you can change your points. Okay, now that I have my cursor, I can um, type whatever I want. Once I've, I like what all I say, then you can actually drag it to make it bigger. Oh. I had that the cursor over so I need to go back click and now it's the true size of it all right and then over here you can fill it in but now remember if you are cutting 
then you will see the red lines. So that way, whenever you go to press send, you will see your red shows where it's going to cut. And don't forget, if you are writing or if you um, have a wording, and I'm very old school with silhouette, so I automatically will click right and flip horizontal. But whenever you go to press send, which mine is not plugged up, whenever you go to press send down here, it will ask you, do you want to um, flip it because you have selected heat transfer? Just make sure that you use the right materials and I would always test cut. Another little key is that whenever you use this test button right here, these arrows right here, after you, after you um, do your first test cut and say it doesn't cut all the way through. So you come over and if it doesn't, then you want to adjust your settings. You gotta give it a second. So right here, it shows you three different um, silhouettes that are available. If you see the Bluetooth sign beside it, that's what that is. Um, now, available connecting. Another little key thing is to if, um, I don't know why my little dot keeps going off, but right down here, it's ready for me to load media. And then, um, ah, there's my blades. I want to make sure to say cut. And then over here, if I have already tested on it, and it doesn't cut all the way through. I would not move your depth blade yet, your blade depth yet. I would only do your force and I would do say two to three points and then test again. And how you would do that is you would adjust your points, okay? And then you would move these toggles, which it will show you which way it's going. And then wherever your design is, Wherever your design is, um, I would move away from it. So over here, I would come over either right here, keep moving over until I test correct. And I would only move these points up. I hope that helps someone. If you have any other questions, please comment below. And if there is a video that you would like to see that I have not done, please let me know. And as always, have a great day.